All right, guys, so from the right view, let's select the side of the chair and let's create a sketch. Let's use our line tool to kind of uh, sketch what would be a chair. So we're going to use these uh, blacked out versions of the chair to kind of reference an actual chair, if that makes any sense. So try to just follow along with me. Go down. And we're just going to go back up to the side and we're going to close this out. Now we're going to right click, hit OK, and we're going to shift select both of these profiles we just created. And we're going to press pull this. So let's go to the side and use this side as a reference and let's pull it back a bit. Now we can uh, change it from cut to new body. And I just want to hide the previous blocked out chairs. So let's select both of these and just toggle these off for now. And let's go to fillet mode. So let's hit F and let's just round off these edges at the top. And it's specific that we uh, fillet these in this order. So we're rounding off the top, getting that uh, shape of a natural chair. Now we're going to also enter fillet mode again, but this time we're going to do the bottom. And you see how we're filleting in a specific order, not, a, not the other direction. Now we're going to go to create pipe. And the way we filleted it was we created an outline of a pipe of a chair. So let's just downscale this. And this looks all right. So let's change it from cut to new body. And we're going to select this back surface here and create a sketch. And let's use our line tool to kind of cut this in half. It's okay. Now we can uh, finish sketch right here. And let's go to modify split body, select this body, and let's split it. And we're not going to delete the remaining parts because we need that to reference another part. So let's select it and create a sketch. Let's grab our, let's just offset this actually. Make this a bit smaller than the original. Let's hit OK. Now we can grab the fillet over here and we'll just fillet all these corners to round it off. And this will later be the cushion that we sit down on in the seat. So let's uh, press pull this. And let's just pull it up a bit. Change it from join to new body. Let's hit OK. And now we can start removing the previous blocked out part that we don't need. So let's left click and go to remove. And let's move this part. So we'll go to layer and we'll right click and go to move to move this seat. And I think it might be best to do it from the side view. And if need be, we'll just also move it in the top view. Well, actually, I think it's a good time to go to modify scale. And let's just scale this. And let's scale this in the X direction. So we'll just make sure it's on non-uniform. And we'll slide this blue arrow to the right. And now we can reposition this. So let's right click on the layer and let's go to move. And once satisfied, let's hit OK. And now we can go to create pipe. And I just want to create a pipe off of this uh, ring at the top. So let's go to pipe, select our edge. And that's all right. So let's change it from cut to uh, join. Now let's select this surface once again and create a sketch. And let's finish sketch. And let's just press pull this profile we've just created. And this will act as the cushion. So let's hit F to fill it this. I'm just going to soften these uh, hard edges. Let's hit OK. Now at the bottom, there's no support. So we're going to create a sketch. I'm going to go to offset. And let's select that edge. And let's just make it bigger than the original so we can uh, right click and press pull. So let's select it and let's pull it down. We're just going to pull it down slightly. So something around here looks fine. Let's change it from cut to join. Hit OK. And this doesn't look bad, guys. Making a lot of progress. Now we can select this area here and we can just create a sketch. Finish sketch. What I want to do is just pull this back because this looks like it's extruding a little bit too far. Ensure it's on cut and let's press OK. Now let's go to create pipe and let's select this edge here and we'll just downsize this. That looks fine. Let's hit OK and let's select this face and create a sketch. Finish sketch. And let's pull this out. And this is the back cushion area. So we'll go to fillet mode and we'll just soften this like we did the seat. And let's hit OK. 
And let's also fill up this bottom area too because that looks a bit too harsh. Now let's select the side of the chair seat and let's create a sketch. And this is just going to be a baseline. So we're going to use a two point rectangle to create a, a rectangular box at the bottom. Now, normally this is actually only on the driver's seat and it's actually the gas can, but we're just going to use it for this. So let's uh, round off these edges with uh, the fillet. And once satisfied, we'll just right click and hit OK. And now we can press pull this. And let's just select the back end of the seat hit OK. Now I want to just round off some of these hard edges on this. That looks fine. And let's right click on the layer so we can move this a bit lower because it looks like it's too high up and not actually touching the floor. Now once satisfied, let's hit OK. And now we can start adding some detail to the back because right now it's lacking right now. So uh, let's start combining these pieces together in the interior. Now, depending on what you're uh, using the model for, you're not gonna wanna do this, but since this is just practice, it's fine. Now, let's select the back surface here. Let's create a sketch. I wanna use my two-point rectangle to kinda sketch out a rough uh, rectangle shape where the back support would be. So from around here to the top right here, let's right-click and let's press pull this. I want to pull this just out a bit so it's not touching the wall. Let's change it from cut to new body. And let's hit OK. Let's go to fillet mode so we can round off this edge so we can start shaping this out. Because once it's mirrored, it'll actually fit perfectly. Let's fillet this area as well so it'll be nice and soft and cushiony. And we can't forget about the bottom because, you know, it adds to that uh, realism when everything's not so sharp. And as I mentioned earlier, we're gonna to wanna to reposition this. So let's go to the layer and let's go to move. And let's just drag this up. And we're also gonna pull it out. And this is gonna be support later for the uh, whoever's sitting in the back. You don't want your head touching the metal pipes or anything like that. So this looks fine here, let's hit okay. And like I mentioned, this model isn't gonna be used for anything. So we can just combine uh, the rest of the parts together on the inside and normally you don't want to do this unless uh, you need to. So now that that's done, we'll select this surface and create another sketch. And let's use that two point rectangle once again and we'll create some of the uh, embossing on the inside. Some of them rectangular cutout shapes that you see. And let's press pull these out. That looks fine. Let's hit OK. Let's hit fill it so we can grab these four edges here. And let's drag these in to round those off. That looks great. Now let's select the surface on top and create a sketch. Now I also want to turn back on my canvas because they actually have some good detail here. Now I'm going to grab that two point rectangle tool and kind of outline this. And now we're going to want to fill it these corners. Drag it down a bit, this looks great. Let's right click. Now let's select this and press pull this upwards. And it's just a slight, uh, slight press pull. Is it okay? Let's select this surface and create a sketch. Now we're gonna use our line tool and we're gonna do the little uh, footrest here at the bottom. It's not really a foot a footrest. I don't know what it actually is, but it's there. <laughs> so let's press pull this outwards. And I want to fill it these harsh corners on this. So we'll do these two first. So okay. And let's grab these edges here. Nice and subtle. Looks perfect. I said okay. And now I'm going to go to combine and I'm just going to combine the main body with this small piece we just created. And let's hit OK. And let's select this back seat surface and press pull. And I just wanna pull this back because it seems a bit too out there. <laughs> and let's make this a bit smoother. So let's hit F to go into fillet mode. And we're just gonna soften this up so it doesn't look like it's made for Flintstones. Let's create another sketch on this surface. And let's end sketch, press pull. You guys know the routines, same thing, it's just repetitive. 
And once again, we're gonna hit F, we're going to fill it mode, and we're gonna round this off even more. And let's hit OK. And I wanna uh, reposition this. Now, I just wanna move it up. I don't wanna move it left or right, just up. And let's hit OK. And let's go back to those uh, the original blocked out pieces that we turned off, and I wanna remove those. 